Since we're talking about faces, I wanted to share with you the portrait artist Chuck Close. Chuck Close is a portrait painter, and he paints very, very realistic pictures of faces. But what's interesting about Chuck Close is that he has a condition called face blindness. And that means that he cannot remember what face belongs with which person. So for Chuck Close, even his closest friends and family, when he sees their face, his brain doesn't recognize that person as being connected to that identity. So people have to remind him who they are with small subtle clues like, hey Chuck, it's me, your sister, or hey Chuck, it's me, your best friend, Joe. But as a result of his face blindness, he makes incredible portraits that are realistically focused on the smallest details and quality of a person's face. And he does this by looking at photographs and copying them exactly, but sometimes he transitions them into using patterns that when put all together, make the total face. Now the other connection I will make here with our proportional face drawing is this. Face recognition software, like the kind that would find a person in a crowd and pick out who they are, uses the proportional relationships like we talked about this week to show and identify a person's face like they would with a fingerprint. So the relationships between the eyes and the nose, the nose and the upper lip, the lip and the lower lip, the chin and the eye, all those relationships are mapped. And that's how facial recognition software determines what a face looks like. So today with our workday, I want you to continue to practice those steps that we shared 